Having been at Briarcrest for six years, it has definitely been challenging, but I have lots of great memories as well. I loved growing spiritually and learning new things and connecting with fantastic professors, mentors, RAs and RDs who pushed me further than I thought possible and who had my best interests at heart. Shout out to Cal McFarlane who ran the imprint program and who taught me pottery. Ken Moser who loved my uh, comic strips that I drew at the beginning of every class and to David and Darren who believed in me even when I didn't. I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you also to all my friends who took me on crazy, wild, uh, unexpected adventures like going to Tim's, uh, playing games, uh, baking, cracking jokes, sharing stories, and doing projects together. Thank you. And thank you for being there for me when I needed you uh, and for not giving up on me. I miss you all very dearly. Overall, uh, Briarcrest was a place where I was a liver in the high school dorm for three years, uh, led Bible studies, uh, did a double major, and became an English teacher, of all things, an intern for Youthquake, uh, and traveled to a country that very few people are willing to go. I did what I thought was impossible for me to do, and yet here I am, finished. And college wasn't easy, but I learned how to live in step with the Lord, and so I say thank you to all of you for being an inspiration and making an impact in my life. Now I know that I don't have my entire life uh, planned out uh, in front of me, but that's okay. Uh, if God has allowed me to come this far and shine through my weaknesses to defeat giants, how much more? Is he going to shine through and do the impossible and unexpected in my life and yours? I understand that this season that we're in has had some disappointments and when graduation was cancelled, we didn't get that important closure uh, to move into the next stage of life. So let me encourage you, do not give up, do not live in fear and trust in the Lord who has everything under control. So. Congratulations, class of 2020, you made it. Now go, lay aside every burden and sin that so easily entangles us, and let us run with endurance the race set before us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the perfecter and author of faith, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart.